So this is our sewing machine called Molly. She's made by Baby Lock, great company. We're gonna start with some parts. Let's go over here. This is our power switch. This is where the plug turns in, plugs into the machine that goes all the way down to our foot control. It's what we place on the floor so our foot can step on it. And the other one is plugged into an outlet. We have, this is our hand wheel. We pull it out when we need to wind the bobbin up here, push it in when we need to stitch, and we always turn it counterclockwise. And we have a bobbin winder. We have the spool pin. We have a spool cap. This holds your thread. This holds the thread on. And we have this really nice diagram back here. The diagram shows us how we thread as well as how to make the bobbin. We come across here when we're threading our machine. We follow this arrow. Number one, this is a thread guide. This whole piece is. It has two separate ones, one here and one there. We follow this thread guide all the way down. Number two tells us to stitch, or to, not to stitch, but to draw the thread up. And we have this little piece right here. This is called the thread take up lever. Super important part. There. Always needs to be in the highest position when you're done sewing. Number three tells us to go around behind it from right to left. And then it drags back down here. And then we have this really neat little mechanism. We have, this is a thread guide right here. And this one is our needle clamp. Then you have your needle and you have your presser foot. We have a presser foot lever that's right here. We put our thumb and our knuckle right underneath it, thumb on top, knuckle below it. We lower it silently, raise it silently. Never let go of it, please. Make sure you've got a good hold on it because we don't want it broken. Then we have this silver part here. This is our throat plate. Underneath here with all those little teeth, that's the feed dog. And then we have this cover right here. The cover we can remove by pushing, putting our finger on top and we pull it to one side and we pull that out. This is the bobbin cover. This is the spot where our bobbin goes. I'll put that back in there. And then we have parts, our dials. So let's see if I can get that in focus. This is our tension. We leave it at four. Up on top, it's our width control. Right now we should be on five. This is our stitch pattern selector. It should be on BA. And the last one down here at the bottom is our stitch length control. It should be on two. This is our back stitch control. This is what makes us go backwards at the beginning and end of every seam.